You might notice some cleanup efforts underway right now on the Atlanta Beltline. So this past weekend, crews tackled graffiti and tagging along the popular trail, and a new pilot program aims to keep the cleaning up every week. 11 Alive's Joe Ripley joining us live from the East Side Trail entrance in Midtown Atlanta. So, Joe, where exactly are crews concentrating their efforts here? So Atlanta Beltline says that they're honestly going to have crews out here on the east side and the west side, specifically uh, those trails out here once a week to try and clean up the graffiti out here. This comes after a new injection of about $16 million into a park fund from the city of Atlanta. And the hope is that these parks, this trail can remain as enjoyable and as clean as possible, even on a rainy day like today. Not even the rain I'm gonna run Boston. could stop Denise Quarles from training on one of the most popular trails in Atlanta. Running mostly up and down, but also just taking strolls with my family. Even Quarles has to stop from time to time. No, not to smell the flowers, but to take in the breathtaking art that she says reflects the artistic scene in Atlanta. I document it all the time, so I have, I take pictures of it constantly. I have artwork from when I first arrived in Atlanta, uh, collections of it. Yeah, I've talked to some of the artists on the belt line. With art all around her, Quarles says the lines blur between that art and graffiti. I can see where it, it starts to lose its allure. It looks it's a little, I guess, trashy and not, I don't know, not artistic. <laughs> Atlanta Beltline is implementing a pilot program to clean up graffiti, focusing on light poles, guardrails, and retention walls. The group hired Lawrenceville-based Sunbright Services to remove graffiti once a week, promising to remove profane tags within 48 hours of reporting. The city added $16 million to the Park Improvement Fund to help pay for the program. Atlanta Beltline will not touch the city's free paint spaces on the trail on Freedom Parkway and the Crog Street Tunnel. Whether you run like Denise Quarles, walk or bike on the Beltline, you'll notice efforts underway to make the 22 mile loop a little cleaner. And this pilot program is going to run through next summer. If you see any graffiti, any other issues here on the Beltline, you're welcome to report that. All you have to do is contact ATL 311.